Where Scythe could really make a big snowballing effect in the late game as he can continue to get those long death timers on the VP side. Bugs come out, trying to scout. Bird is pro. Very wary of this area. Moon's going to be farmed up the Ancients. The rest of his team right behind him. Ice, ice, ice. Spots, Basha for a moment. The Terrorize comes in a little bit too late. They already got the BKB up, but Moon, he is super tanky. Rams is having a hard time being able to bring him down. His so BKB's down. The pot, the Dragon Knight, and turn and fight him. That's why Rams has got to back up. So instead, they're just going to be able to turn, see if they can finish off that Ventral Spirit while backing away from the Invoker. He managed to get a really good Daphne Blast, holding him in with the Overgrowth as well, focusing on the Tombstone. And now all these heroes caught in the ice wall with no BKBs coming in from behind the Reaper site. Not good enough to be able to catch Roger in, but Jabs will be able to finish up at least that clicks. He immediately buys back, though. Looking for the team. In. Ice 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 battling alone. Next to Jabs, you're gonna die soon. The Wraith King Aghanim Scepter is allowing the Jew a lot of damage to Pasha, but he still at the time locks out, so that leaves Moon all by himself, surrounded by too many heroes. Bushi comes in, gives a little bit of death pulls without cutting up a little bit more. Pasha is able to run down now. Bushi's surrounded by oh, Bushi. He's gone. He, he tried to come in and bail out his heroes. The Ghost Child's gonna be able to buy him a bit more time. The Solar gives a big time heal. And Virtus Bro, now that there's reinforcements from Mineski, they'll back up. A big deafening blast. He sees Bushi is low on the side and wants to be able to hunt him down. down he's the gone. Heroes, and Bushi's Dead. Down for two minutes, nine seconds on Moon. Ice 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 coming up next. He does have the reincarnation, but Jazz, yeah, he'll die. Just focus down for this walk every single time by Ramses. It is only Ice Ice Ice, and now it's going to be the Undying Cod as well. Ninja Boogie, Bernie's Pro. One big fight is all they needed, and they'll be able to take down Mineski. Not once, but twice in a big team fight in the mid lane. Finishing up with Ice Ice Ice. No buybacks on Mineski. And that will be Virtus Pro marching down the lane, pushing into the tier fours, and taking game number one, unless Moon by himself can somehow stop them all. He's gonna BKB walk in immediately. Just it gets jumped on. A valiant effort, Moon. Five deaths, buybacks into another five deaths from Maneski. Virtus Pro, I think there's no question about it. They just outplayed Maneski in that last team fight. Yeah, especially near the end, they came online at the right times. The ability to constantly get the Aegis, the Roshan for free, three times in a row. But Maneski, I mean, they played it out to the end. They gave themselves opportunities to win. They made this game as close as they could. It felt like Maneski stumbled a little bit against the Terrain Protector early. Finally got their groove in. It just happened to be a bit too late. Once